Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show to make digital door animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So, welcome friends, and first step, let's select this background layer. Let's lock here and select these elements. This is inside elements. Let's select and move to back like this. Then select elements, let's right mouse and let's pre compass as a name elements click ok so let's hide elements composition and select this door let's go to solo and for make rotate animation i want to switch 3d let's select door and click toggle switch mode let's click 3d icon okay so select this anchor point and let's move to here and move to up okay click station tool and let's unsolo. Okay, so let's select this door and press air open rotation. Go to here and let's make Y rotation keyframe. Go to back and change rotation like this. Okay, let's see. Okay, so say keyframes, let's make easy or F9. Go to the graph editor and let's select graphs. Let's make graph like this. Let's see. Okay, let's move to left. Okay, let's change a little bit like this. Okay. So back to keyframes and right now let's go to FX presses, search FX glow. Let's select this glow and let's use for light layer. Change glow radius. Okay, and let's go to pen tool. Let's make like this mask click station tool and let's say again okay so select this light and let's press t for open opacity change opacity zero and go to here in this time make opacity keyframe go to some keyframes and change opacity 100 select keyframes make easy let's see Okay, let's move to left these keyframes. Okay, let's move to left a little bit. Nice. So, let's try change some settings for glow. Okay, and select this glow. Let's control D. I want more glow effects. And let's change light like this. Okay, so let's say again. Nice. So in this time, let's open elements composition and let's change composition settings. Change size here, full HD. Click OK. And select elements. And let's back to door, select this background. Let's unlock, select background. Control C, back to elements, Control V for C difference. Let's lock layer, select elements. And let's see here. Let's enable elements. Okay, let's select elements conversation. Let's put here. And let's back to, let's hide background. Okay. Okay, so let's back to elements conversation. And select elements, let's press P. Let's go to here. Make new passing keyframe, go to back. And let's move to right like this. Let's see here. Okay. So, select elements. Let's go to pen tool and let's make mask like this. Classation tool. Let's see. Okay, select composition. Let's move right. Let's move to left like this. And back to here. Select this first keyframe. Let's move right. Okay, so let's go to pen tool, change mask like this. Let's add new mask point here and one here. Change these points like this. And let's add one here and one here. And two here. And move to down this point. Okay, that's good. 
So select these elements and also let's add one point here and here. Change some settings like this. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's back to elements and select three frames. Let's make easies and go to graph editor. Let's click station two, select these graphs. Let's make graph like this. Okay, back to three frames, select last three frame, move to right. Let's move to right more. Go to graph editor. Let's select these graphs, move to left. Let's see here. Okay, so let's go to seven second, press N, and let's right mouse and click trim cop to work area. And back to elements, let's go to seven second, press N, back to chip frames, and let's again select work area. So in this time, select these elements and let's use glow for these elements change glow settings like this let's enable background okay let's control d for duplicate glow change some settings okay so select these elements let's go to pen tool and i want to delete this part let's select this part with mask and let's press M click this inverted checkbox and let's make like this okay that's good so click station tool and select these elements let's back the door okay and let's control D for duplicate, moved up and let's press P, select three frames and go to first second. And let's select first three frame, move the back. Let's see. Okay, and select last three frame. Move to like this. Okay, let's go to here. I want to add some random three frames. Okay, and select these elements, let's control D, move to right, and press P, let's select all three frames, and let's move to up, move to back here, and let's delete these center three frames, let's select three frames again, go to first second, okay, and let's go to here, off to left okay so let's hide background and let's see here okay so back to elements and let's go first second select these three key frames let's delete and this delete okay so back to elements and right now let's go to text and let's write here random numbers classification tool change font size okay and let's go to fx presses search effect numbers select these numbers from text folder let's use for text layer and click ok and let's click random values Okay, change color. Let's use this blue color. Click OK. Okay, and let's select this element layer. Select these two glows. Control C back to text. Control V. And let's change some glow settings. Okay, let's delete glow two. And let's control D again. Okay, that's good. 
So select this number layer and change place, for example, 8. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's change again this 15. And let's right mouse, pre compass, add name numbers. And let's click this icon, click OK. Open composition. Okay, and let's duplicate these text layers. Let's change here, like this. Again, Control D and move that up. And let's again duplicate. And again. Okay, let's back to elements composition. And right now, let's click the second for 3D layer. And press air open rotation, change X rotation and Y rotation. And let's move to here. Okay, and let's select numbers, press P. Make new passing keyframe. Let's move it back and go to here. Let's move the center like this. Select keyframes, make easy. Go to graph editor, select this graph, move to left and this. Okay, so change quality quarter. Back to keyframes, select last keyframe, move to right. Okay, let's back to door and let's see here. Okay, nice. So let's back to elements. Let's control D. Let's move to back. Let's press P. Go to first second. Delete this chip frame. And select these two chip frames. Move to right and move to back. Let's control D again, press P, select two chip frames and move to here, let's move to down and let's move to left like this. Okay. Okay, so not bad and we can change some colors, let's go to elements. And let's use Hua Saturation. Let's change quality full. Let's enable background. And select this number, Composition. Go to Solo and go to Solo Background. Let's use Hua Saturation. And click this checkbox. Change color like this. Select this Hue Saturation, Ctrl C, and let's select Numbers Composition and Ctrl V. Change this color and select this. Let's go to Solo, Ctrl V, and change color like this. Let's unsolo all these compositions and background. Okay, nice. Let's hide background layer. Okay, that's good. Let's select this elements composition. Let's control D, press P and move to up. Okay, let's change mask like this. Okay, very nice. So again, we can use here glow. Let's use glow for elements and change settings like this. Okay, that's good. So friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.